color twist. I'd like to introduce you to a new set of interesting color grading and look development tools for DaVinci Resolve Studio. Color twist is a bundle of four DCTL tools, which is basically color warp, saturation, density, and luma. Let's see about NX color warp. Now I have a Granger rainbow test chart. Now let me op open the vector scope. This DCTL behaves same like the color warper, but it's more precise and way more easier to use than the color warper. We now have the red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, yellow, a bunch of sectors, which is basically the nearby hues, red, magenta, magenta, blue, blue, cyan, and so on. So you can modify the red hue by controlling these sliders and you can modify it to about 180 degrees and when you move the other side you can move the color to another 180 degrees so basically you can set a particular hue to any other color similarly you can modify other hues let's say for example if you need to modify the blue and cyan you can use the blue and cyan sector like so and you can again move it 180 degrees on either sides now this behavior is same like that of this color warper where your magenta and green is pinned down it's kind of a similar behavior similarly you have for other sectors which you can modify it with ease now let's take a real life footage and look how it works on it so let me add the nx color warp dctl now this is a very balanced image as you can see from the vector scope now we can create different color schemes pretty easily rather than relying on the color warper or um, hue versus hue curves so let's create let's say an analogous color scheme let's move the green hue towards yellow and let's move the magenta towards red like so and now we have kind of a split complementary color scheme we can also compress this by slightly adjusting the red hue warp and the yellow hue warp we can use the blue cyan sector to slightly rotate it in either of the directions. Kind of a uh, uh, teal orange look. So you can create different color schemes very easily. This is a very powerful tool and very precise. And when you are working in a white gamut, this should not have any artifacts. And it's pretty clean compared to the color warper or when using the hue versus hue tools now moving on to the next nx saturation now these tools are similar to hue but these tools control the saturation of the image you can control the red saturation the green magenta and so on and again you have the same concept like that of the color warp tools you have sectors let's say i need to desaturate the blue and the cyan sector I can desaturate it the blue and the cyan sector or saturate it now having the sectors is important because if this preserves the color vector if the color is somewhere in between the blue and the cyan if you're going to use these tools the color vector will not be preserved if the color lies somewhere in between the blue and the cyan similarly for the other tools i can desaturate the blues completely and create a whole new look similarly i can desaturate uh, let's say the yellows or slightly saturate the reds alone so this is NX saturation. Now let's move on to the next tool, NX Luma. Now this controls the luminance of the image. If I need to control the luminance of red, I can control the luminance 
hello which is basically the brightness of the color and similarly the greens the blues and so on so this is quite powerful since you can make some precise adjustments let's move on to the next tool the density you can increase the density of any of the color colors so let's say we need to increase the red density as you can see in the color chart the density of the color changes similarly for the other colors the green blue cyan and so on and you can also control the global saturation of the image using these four tools you can pretty much create any kind of looks with precise control over the saturation or hue or luma in the image so hope you like these tools i'll upload a demo version of these tools short if you like the tools you can purchase it thank you